Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. I thought I would do another little day in the life um, vlog today because you seem to all really enjoy that last week. And I do kind of feel like my life is quite boring to be honest. I'm just at home a lot, but um, I thought I'd just bring you along for another day today. So I am just about going to go out the door and get sorted. I've got loads of little errands and things to run today. I need to go and drop a card off for my friend. I need to go and see my auntie because she's been really poorly. She's been in and out of hospital a lot the last few weeks. So um, I'm gonna go and get her some nice cake and take that up for her. I also, she wanted some pop sockets for her Kindle. So I've got a few of those to take up for her and just basically just get a load of jobs and stuff done. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going for my aesthetic treatments with Dr. Ahmed, so I thought I'd bring you along for that um, and let you know all about like my neck treatments that I get done and just bring you along for that appointment. And then I think I've also, I've got some things in the garden I want to do, so we'll just spend a couple of days together. But yeah, I'm just about to go out the door, go and get Rick. Uh, get him to come and help me do a load of jobs. We're just constantly trying to like get last bits and pieces done around the house. So yeah, we've got another day of just going picking up some bits and bobs. I've got a shelf in the bathroom that needs fitting. Ugh, fitting? <laughs> I have the com most comfiest outfit on today. I have a brand new hoodie. These are like my favorite hoodies to wear. They're the perfect, perfect fit. I'll show you what I'm wearing as well really quickly. I just wanted to be super, super comfy today and I ordered another one of these hoodies because they're literally the most perfect just everyday black hoodie to chuck on. And I have these new cycle shorts that I absolutely love. They have like the ruching on the bum, so they're super, super flattering. And then they have this just like V um, detail on the waist. They feel so nice and they're like the perfect length. You know, sometimes cycle shorts can be too long. These are just the perfect length and they're really nice and like silky. So I took those on and I have some new trainers which are these, oh my goodness, I am obsessed with them. Look at these. They are the new Nike Space Hippie trainers. I absolutely love them. And I decided to keep the bag. And I feel like this looks cute with this outfit. I feel like it's nice. I'll do a little um, full length so you can see it in full. But yeah, this is just what I constantly wear whenever I'm going out, just like getting jobs done and need to be comfy. In this, this time of year, Hoodie, cycle shorts, comfy little trainers, and we're good to go. I also, I also got some new Ray-Bans because I'm just obsessed with Ray-Bans at the moment. So I got these aviators and they are the like gold rim brown lens ones. And I just thought they're so cute for just every day. So yeah, that's my little outfit of the day. I will do like a full length outfit so you can see it. We're probably gonna shoot some outfit pics in this. My whole outfit today is from Amazon Fashion, which I just shop on there all the time at the minute. Whenever I see something, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna see if it's on Amazon. Get my free prime delivery, comes the next day. Like, so easy. My hoodie, my shorts, my bag, sunnies, and my trainers, all from Amazon Fashion. I'll link them all in the description for you. So I'm gonna go and find Richard and get, go off and get our errands done. So we have just come out to get some jobs done. It's actually such a nice day. It's really warm. And now I'm feeling too hot <laughs> in this hoodie. Also, we have matching outfits on, Rick. Did you not realize this? <laughs> oh God. Let's go to Waitrose to get a nice cake. One for Anna, one for Faye. I can go and drop them off. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. Yeah. Drop them off now. Yeah, go and drop them off for them. Yeah, is that alright with you? Yeah. Should we get a nice little cake? Because cake makes everything better, doesn't it? I've faked on this morning, which is another reason why I'm just wearing all black. I don't know if I've spoke about it on here, but we've basically been um so I've been working on a fake tan. So I've been helping to create this fake tan and it is almost ready and I think you girls will absolutely love it. It's like the perfect, um, it's the perfect colour. It's like natural, but still super brown, but not like over the top. Yeah, I'm really excited to 
find out what you guys what all think. It should be like ready to go on sale in the next week or so. Um, I've just been helping out with it and like giving my full experience of what I would always love and want in a tan. And I've been wearing it for the last, um, I'd say maybe like two or three months. And I love it. It lasts all week. Then I just scrub it off once a week. And it's like, um, yeah, it's just like a really natural looking colour. So excited to hear what you guys think of that. I'll let you know once it is like ready and like link, put a link to it and stuff. Um, I'm gonna go and get these cakes, get a few jobs done and go and see my auntie. I need to show you these cream cakes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is my hand, just for, <laughs> so you can see the size of it. So this is my arm, and that is the size of the eclair. I had to switch to my phone, because my um, I thought my camera was completely charged, and it's just not at all. Um, but yeah, we've just gone and got these, these cream cakes. I'm like, guarding them with my life. And um, I just always feel like a cake is nicer than a bunch of flowers or a bottle of wine like who doesn't love a cake so we're going to go and deliver these cakes and then head home and i think we have a little potter in the garden i bought some plants and flowers and i'm not really much of a um gardener so i'm trying to teach myself so i'll show you what i've done so far new chair should be here today oh yeah and we've got some new garden chairs coming today which i'm really excited about and then i just need to order the bench so i'll show you like the kind of patio idea and what we've done so far. I want to get some terracotta pots and then I want to um, age them. So you basically get garden lime and it makes them look old and more rusticy than like the normal um, new ones. Um, so I've ordered the garden lime and I just need to find lots of pots now. So I think Facebook Marketplace is the best way to go. So we've been having a little look on there and some on eBay. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I've got so far. I've got some gorgeous little plants. So I'm really excited to see them starting to like flower and yeah, actually look pretty. Live. Pardon? Survive and be a good start. Rick thinks he's funny. I'm I... Funny to tell you what. Oh yeah, Rick saw my sunglasses. Literally had them on for like half an hour and he's had them. Um, I'm not very good at keeping plants alive. I feel like we spoke about this in, in two vlogs ago when my plant, I've killed my plant. But um, no, I'm hoping, for, I'm hoping for success this time. I've got a WhatsApp group with my mom and my sister. So I just keep sending messages on there and asking them for the, some advice. So I've got some wisteria. I've bought some wisteria trees and loads of lavender, some peonies and what else did I buy? Oh, some little plants and things. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a, um, we're going to do like a veg and herb planter at the bottom of the decking. I think that's the idea, isn't it? So that will, you know, so I'll show you once we get back. Oh, yes. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> um, and obviously, I get these bits here, yeah. which come back. This is all come back. Mm -hmm. so long. It's and fully moving. Yes. And um, just what I know, we have like, you know, crow's feet here. So this came is back Botox, first yeah. again. I think I just do some strange things with my eyebrows. <laughs> um, and here. Yeah. Um, and then I just wanted to speak about my neck again mm -hmm. because I've noticed that's kind of worn off a little bit. So. What the neck? Are you wearing, are you wearing a t shirt underneath? Yeah, this? Like, let me take can you just have a jacket? Yeah. yeah, so neck. Oh, it's so much better, isn't it's it? It's better, but I've noticed that it's starting to come back. Yeah. It's coming back a It's coming bit. back, like I'm noticing it here, like just, you know when it kind of like goes a bit stringy? Yeah. And these strong bits. Yeah. A bit of the, the actual yes. pull. Yeah. But then we can, sorry. Sorry, no, you go. And then we can kind of work on the quality of the skin, because obviously these yeah. are two things happening mm. here. The skin in itself is a bit thin, but also yeah. the, the physical, which is the muscle here, is yeah. pulling. Oh, it's so well. Mm -hmm. But then it, I think that must have been... September? Maybe. Yeah, it's called the Nefertiti necklace, neck right. and it lasts ages. Yeah. It lasts for a year and a half. It was summer. It was summer when I came yeah. to have it done, and it was way before I even got my diagnosis. Yeah, so the kids were off. It was a long time. Yeah, I remember the kids were off, and we were yeah. like, Yeah, I was like, Yeah, because we were upstairs, weren't we? Yeah. And 
we yeah. did it, I remember, so it's lasted so oh, long. Wow. But I've noticed like the last maybe few few weeks or so, I'm like, oh yeah, it's those it creeps back in, doesn't it? Over it so <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just it's just that like thinness again, and that's come back again. Yeah. But after we had the skin boosters last time, that did yeah. really good. It helped so much. Didn't yeah, it? I think. Well, I might suggest actually with the neck. Let's do just the fill up today. Mm -hmm. And then let's get you back in and we can do the Elan you know, the collagen stimulator, right. rather than, because actually the, the, the skin booster has improved the skin significantly. Okay. Now it's a little bit thicker, so we can do a bit of okay. collagen in it, and that can last for two years. Oh, brilliant. And we couldn't start with that because it was a bit too thin. Yeah, do you that, think it's made a big difference? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, actually. Before I can see all the blood vessels yeah. from a kind of oh, okay. thinness perspective, yeah. it was quite thin. Yeah. Plus, you just finished treatment. Yeah. You were just, yeah. those are steroids. Oh, last time, yeah, yeah. yeah. And all my face is puffy, like that, that's gone down a lot. I mean, it's so still there a little bit, but I don't yeah. feel like I've got a bigger chin anymore. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's only a month after you finished treatment. I think it was January, like, was it yeah. January? Sometimes I think it was. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it was really swollen because mm -hmm. when we say to you, like, oh, I feel like what's yeah, the steroids. <laughs> But she's but yeah, it's definitely just kind of, it's a little bit there, but it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Yeah. Or anything else you think. Oh, I don't feel like with my lips, yeah. I, I don't... It's lasted ages. It's lasted and I'm, I'm liking like the more natural look. Yeah. My nose, I don't feel, I feel like that's still there. Still there, um, absolutely. The only thing I might suggest is possibly a little bit here. Yeah. The smile lines are just... Yeah. <laughs> Coming out. Yeah, you're having such a good time, you're smiling too much. <laughs> you know I think it is though as well, like after my treatment, yeah. I just notice, you know, a little bit more aging in like, yeah. just like it's sped up a little bit. Because actually a lot of chemo and radiotherapy it denatures collagen, yeah. so it breaks yeah. your collagen. So yeah. denaturing it means if a protein is made this way, it changes the structure of the protein a little bit, so you break it down quicker. Yeah. And this is why even a 30 something year old, yeah. actually, Finished treatment after chemo and radio, yeah. and feel like she's aged 10 years I after do, that. That's what I felt like. I see that loads. Yeah, because yeah, I get loads of ladies that have had breast cancer, cervical yeah. cancer, and so on. Even though they're sub 40, they still feel yeah. mm, something has happened. Yeah, like really, like much quicker than yeah. before. Like all yeah. the, the last, what, six months, I feel like, yeah, it's massively. It all, I see it all the yeah. time. Yeah. And because of my treatment, I went to menopause now, so yeah. I feel like that's not happening. That's Are you on HRT for that? Or, yeah. You know, what, what did they give you? Uh, patches. And all. Okay. Yeah. How are we getting all of those? Um, okay. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think okay. Well, it was a bit up and down and a bit uh, took a while, but I feel like for me it, it felt like my mental health more than anything. Yeah. I, no other side effects. I mean, I was getting hot flushes, but mentally mm. I, I was so. You were snappy. I was, oh my god! I'm out of very few words. Oh. <laughs> you get this life. It was, I think the biggest telltale was when you walked in and the dogs were sat there and they'd just be sat in the bed with yeah. a look on their face. Like, <laughs> 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 but it's definitely, I said, yeah. I was like, oh God, I need to get my prescription in. But I went out with HLT and like, yes, you yeah. do. <laughs> He's just blinding them, like, that's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, just all these things, I feel like I'm just... I felt like a young 30 something, now yeah. I definitely feel like, right, I'm feeling so much more like getting towards 40. Yeah. How old are you now? 37. Oh, you're so far from 40. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, yeah. You're going to bring a bit of I know. <laughs> Give me a little... <laughs> so there's no more in the little bands. There's like two massive ones. So these are called that. platysmal bands, which sounds like a funny thing, like a platysmal band. God, it's in Deirdre Parker, my Deirdre neck. I don't remember a song with that, you were like, I have a problem, I have an old lady neck. <laughs> 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 yeah, literally, that was like, it is. It's like a what, what, what? <laughs> that is my worst, that is my worst thing. And because you're on camera all the time, you, see. you notice all these things. So quite often when I do a photo, I'm like, I can't use it on my neck. Because <laughs> it's like... It's so funny, all the things that I work with, you guys notice like the teeniest, tiniest little yeah. imperfection anywhere. I'm not 
like I'm not over the top like oh I want this perfect perfect look but you know when it's something that you're like sorry no you know when it's something that bothers you yeah you, you see it more than anyone else would don't you absolutely I think you'll notice a significant difference with the um with the collagen stimulator next so I'm getting here having a look at the diary to book it in so frown for me yeah and raise beautiful and smile big smile yeah and now give me that is that it? yeah <laughs> and relax and do it again yes you were like, what am I doing yet? <laughs> Uh, Instagram, just your cover. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't ever show me those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Turn towards me. This is just pencil. Frown from your watch. I raise. Yeah. yeah. And again, give me the side ones now. I don't know how to. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things where, like, if you think about it, you know how to do it. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Fabulous. Thank you. Have a good one. You know, when you've been so busy, you kind of just, just want to do nothing, don't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I was meant to have Wednesday off and do nothing, but then somehow. I ended up doing skin consultations from home and then Instagram live. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. And again. And again. Because. You're not struggling to grab hold of him. <laughs> I was like. One more for Jesus right there. Pretty good. And then let's do this one. Great, yep. And again. <laughs> I'm like ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I've been so rubbish at vlogging. Honestly, I've been so, so bad. Um, this week's just been so crazy. Last week, I had like, I went on a school trip um, with Albie's school, and then I helped out and went along and watched Seth's cricket tournament thing one of the days. And then, what did I do on Friday? Oh, I was having like friends around Friday night. So I was just rushing around and like getting like up to date with stuff. Yeah, I just didn't update anything. So I thought I'd put my camera up today and we can just have a little catch up. It's been a good week since I went for my uh, anti-wrinkle treatments. So forehead, a little, I got a little bit of my brown like here. Um, so it's starting to... Um, the wrinkles have started to go and just in general i always feel like whenever i get botox it's like whole skin like your whole skin just looks so much more like fresh it's such a nice feeling so so that's been really nice so i've actually got three um beauty like pr packages to open up so i thought we could do that together and then i'm going to promise you that i'm going to go and show you where we're up to with the garden because I didn't do it the other day, it was just such a busy day in the end. The first uh, PR package to open up together is this one. So this is from Q QVC and they just got in touch and said that they have loads of like beauty stuff and could they send me some of their best selling products. So um, I received this last week 
I'm gonna have to take my teeth out because I actually can't fit glues in. I always call them my teeth. They're not my teeth, they're my um my clear braces from therapy. So I started them last year and then I completely stopped. Um when I started my treatment, I was like, I cannot cope with like my teeth being painful and the chemo and radio, so I stopped with them. So I've had to go all the way back to the beginning. Well, I've gone back to week two. I actually need to move on to the next week because they don't like they feel absolutely fine. So I always know like once they stop kind of hurting a little bit that's when you know you need to move on to the next one anyway i have got this box so this is from qvc they asked if they could just send me some of their best-selling beauty products so of course as a big beauty junkie i was like yes of course so this one i've actually been using the last few days it's the estee lauder advanced night repair so lovely really really lovely it actually says you can use it morning and night and it's like a really really luxurious serum absolutely love it it's so lovely then they also sent me a elemis cleansing balm which if you've not tried not even just the elemis cleansing balm but just any cleansing balms in general i do not use anything else to cleanse my face now apart from cleansing balms and cleansing butters so I'm so over the moon to have a fresh new one of these to try out the scent on them. Oh, so lovely. Just like such a little treat. And then you get a little muslin cloth so that can go with all my reusable cloths and pads. Then this is actually so lovely. So this is the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. I used it last night actually. Um, I've not tried this one before. So what I've tried before are the tanning drops. And this is a serum and it's hyaluronic. Um, so I assume that is so that it's like not draining at all. And as you know, I have very sensitive skin. I used this last night and it was really, really lovely. So it's more like a gradual tan as well. So you can build that one up. And then... I received this, which I've not tried. Percy and Reed uh, No Fuss Fabulousness Dry Shampoo. So it smells like because oh, I can't even press it. <laughs> I've got no muscles. Why can't I press? Oh my god. Ugh. It's like it's broken. No, it's not doing it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> See what it smells like. Oh, lovely. Mm, that's really nice. So I will test that out and let you know what I think of that. Effie always pinches my dry shampoo. Good old faithful hula bronzer. If you don't own a hula bronzer by benefit, I might actually just pop it on now because I didn't contour or anything today. I don't know. I've misplaced my NARS um bronzing gel which i usually contour with so let's do a little contour these are fab as well for just having in your handbag because it's such a nice little size and with the brush and everything i've actually done cute little freckles on my makeup today rick was like why do you have freckles have you done freckles on your face i feel like men just don't get it do they then as always, every month glossy box arrives. So I'm excited to try these. So we've got, oh, this is the self love glossy box. Look at these stickers, how cute are these? They're like self love, do what makes you happy. How cute the glossy box this month. Oh, nice. This is cute. So we have daily concepts round silicon scrubber and that is so funny because because i do use cleansing balms i don't really um exfoliate my face anymore with like a scrub and i was thinking this morning i need to like scrub on my nose so this will be perfect because i can use this um with my cleansing bar so get that same kind of like scrub on my nose but without it like drying up. I've always wanted to try one of these, so I'll let you, you know how that is. Oh, amazing. I've got some gorgeous eye patches, which always come in handy, and also an exfoliating coffee scrub. So I will use this on Sunday. I've been got into such a good routine with my fake tan now. 
because I found one that just like lasts all week and doesn't go patchy or scaly. So every every Sunday now is like bath, scrub off my fake tan and apply a fresh um, layer of fake tan for the week. So I will use this on Sunday when I have my scrub off my fake tan bath. This is BHA Exfoliating Concentrate. I've never tried this before. It's removed dead skin cells, removed blemishes, targeting large pores. Oh, interesting. We'll try that. And then we have a cute, yes, creamy blush stick. I'm all about a blush at the moment. And this color is Blossoming. Oh, lovely. This is just what I like like a peachy, bronzy, let's try it. I really like that um, creamy blush. I've just put a little bit of lip gloss on as well. I was just checking in the good lighting in the, in the bathroom. So I also got this really exciting parcel, which I'm so excited about. It says new on the front. So it's, it's from YSL Beauty. So I'm so excited to try this out. And it's their new beauty range. So Instinct Glow, Glow In Balm, Oil Watering, Priming Moisturizer with Light Reflecting Pearls for Instant Glow. So I feel like this is gonna be one of those things that I use in the morning. You know, like when I'm on the school run, at the minute I really like using like my Vitary CC Serum or just my Bichoir one, the Healthy Glow one, it's so nice. So I feel like this, is like a really extra version of one of those. Oh, cute, I thought it was going to be like a bronzy color. Dew You Dewy Mist, which is this one, which is a gentle daily treatment spray infused with hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, pomegranate extract, refreshing and moisturizing and can be used above or below makeup used on its own but let's give this little spray on top of my makeup today oh my god it smells amazing well that feels really nice actually so it's a nice little dewy spray then we also have what else do we have bare look tint which is even and enhanced without hiding lightweight multitasking skin tint so it's like a no makeup makeup which i am all about a no makeup makeup look at the moment i just oh that looks nice um i'm just like all my foundations whenever i mean i'm not very often wearing foundation at the minute all i do with my makeup day to day is like use my color correcting highlighter kit just to literally just cover the areas that have like the blue tints the red tints and even out my complexion and if I do wear foundation, I mix in the tiniest bit of foundation with serum to give that really dewy look. So I feel like this is gonna do that for me. It's really, really lightweight. Oh, amazing. I really, really like the look of this. So I will test all of these out. And then the last one is this YSL Blotting Lotion amazing and this is a matte primer that controls shine and reduces the appearance of pores without drying out the skin so it's like a really nice primer so what I will do in the next vlog is I will do like a get ready with me in the morning and I will use all of these products that feels so nice as well so we'll do a full like no makeup makeup look and i will test all these out you can see them in real life but as always god thank you ysl beauty always so happy to get their parcels because their makeup it is always so good and such a little treat so let's go downstairs and i'm going to show you the garden um i'm just looking out over it now so basically this is our view out of the garden can you see my little sheep I wake up to these sheep every morning and I love watching these lambs grow. They're getting so big. So we've also had the delivery of what is going to be my built-in wardrobe, which is literally here. 
We've gone for the boat axle range from Ikea. So we're fitting that and then we're fitting cupboards across in front of that. And then we also have like a sloping rail that's gonna go in because we are up in the eaves. So this room where my wardrobe is gonna be has this big um, sloping ceiling, but it's all here. Rick is gonna be putting that up um, maybe today? No, I don't think he's gonna do it today. It'll probably be tomorrow, to be honest. So I'm gonna show you, because I did promise you that I would show you the garden. So let's have a little look. It's currently all under this cover because it was raining yesterday. So let me take the cover off and then I can show you. So this used to be the dining room table in our old house and we were going to get an outside um, new garden set but we didn't we were going to get rid of this table because we don't need it in this house so what we decided to do is actually keep this wooden table we're going to treat it so I have ordered some oil that we need to treat it and then we also ordered the bench which matches. So our table used to be this color. <laughs> now it's like a lot more worn, but I absolutely love how I feel like it's gonna look. And then here over the patio, we have planted some wisteria. So we've got a wisteria that's gonna grow all the way up here, all the way over the top, another one here, and then this one all the way up there. And then we've got some other climbing plants here, which we're going to actually plant somewhere else because I think this wisteria is just gonna completely take up this fence. Got a cute little peony that I'm gonna plant somewhere. And I have these, which I need to plant up in this bank at the bottom. Um, this is all decking, which is halfway through being built. So this decking goes all the way around the garden and then we're gonna have a nice seating area up there. And then this bit here, I'm gonna do as a, like a vegetable herb growing bit here. So these are plants I've got to plant up at the top. And then I'm also, gonna plant tons of lavender because it will just grow so nicely and go like crazy over the bank and then these are just some little um, little chili pepper plants and then these are tomatoes oh and these chairs let me show you from the kitchen as well because so they're a very similar color to the kitchen cabinets and then it's just gonna kind of then carry on outside so we just need to treat the table um so we're covering it up anyway at the moment when it rains and i also want a really nice kind of centerpiece to go in the middle of the table here i want some nice cushions for the gray seats and then maybe like a couple of um you know like faux fur um like these little things you know the little faux fur throws to sit on the bench and then eventually, I think next year, once this wisteria starts growing, we're gonna do a pergola all the way top on the top of this patio section and then the wisteria will just grow down on top of the patio area. But yeah, we're getting there. And the other side of this gate is another the big bit of garden. So that's like the kids' garden. There's like a huge astroturf and there's a big area where we're basically gonna just like do, I'm gonna do raised beds and it's gonna be like, vegetable and herb patch so we'll get there eventually but we're just doing like one bit at a time at the moment this is where we're up to the plants don't look very good <laughs> they look pretty pathetic but i'm hoping the wisteria is going to take a while to grow but once it does get going it's going to make this little patio area look so pretty and then i'm going to get all like terracotta pots for my little box balls and like all the way along here i've also ordered two huge oversized um bean bags to go in this section here these chairs are going and it all just needs a good spray down this needs all um 
power washing still the steps need power washing and then this is going to be resealed we've got rick's barbecue coming next week um so i'm hoping by the time we've got the bank holiday this area will be pretty much done we'll have like bean bags and barbecue and all my pots and things will be there so i'm gonna have a little trip to home sense um because i want some really nice pots and everywhere i looked they're either too small or like ridiculously expensive and I'm not spending 200 pounds on a pot for my garden. <laughs> I got this one from HomeSense the other week for my indoor plant that is actually coming back to life by the way. Thanks for the advice guys. And this is 12.99. I actually couldn't believe it and I think that is so lovely. I will have these as well. So these are gonna go up here along this wall, like four of them with family photos in. So they're another job for it to do. What else do we need to do in here? Oh, we still need to decide on a splash back because we haven't put it in yet because I can't decide. I was thinking I want antique mirror, but then when I've looked at it more, I don't think I do. I'm worried that I'm gonna go off it like really, really quickly um, or it's gonna look like dated too quick. Oh, and then this door as well. This door was just a temporary door um, and it's, we're actually having a critical door put in there. So that's the next job as well. So yeah, that's the little house updates for you. Oh, I also received this letter today, which is for my next MRI scan, um, which is the end of June. So I don't know whether they're gonna give me a PET CT scan again, or whether they're just gonna give me the MRI. Um, we will see, uh, but definitely don't feel as stressed as I did last time about that. So that's really like a really good feeling. I think I'm going to finish filming on this vlog um, for today, just so it doesn't get too long. Um, but I have some, I have a really big H&M delivery coming next week. So I will try all that on with you and we can go through it all together. And then next week as well, we're also off on a bit of a spa day, which is a really nice treat for kind of like finishing my treatment and things. Um, so I'll bring you along with that because it's somewhere I've wanted to go for so, so long. So let's have a catch up in the comments. Feel free to just like ask me anything you want to know in there and I will see you all really, really soon.